Why are fractions so difficult for people to understand? It's because we're not really sure why we have to learn them or how we have to use them in our everyday life. Well, we're going to learn some ways that people use fractions in the classroom and how you can associate them with things out in the real world. This shows a child learning different fractions and how many of each are needed to make a whole. If your fraction is one-fourth, that means you would need four quarters or four fourths to make a whole. If your fraction was one eighth, you would need eight eighths to make a whole. Here are some more things you might see in your classroom to help you learn fractions. Both objects represent fractions, which is part of a whole. You might see some with numbers on them, like the numerator and the denominator, or you might see circles like the one on the left that are kind of represented in a pie, kind of like a pizza. Have you ever been to a party and wanted more than your fair share of the cake? That's why you use these fractions to make sure that everything is shared equally. Sounds like a good idea to me. You might even see fractions in your artwork. Once you learn how to write fractions, you will learn how to turn a fraction into a percent, which you may have seen before on your homework or a test. In your classroom, you may even read a fraction fun book by David Adler, and it's filled with all the different ways that fractions can be used, where we see them in our real life, and how you can even create your own fractions using paper plates and other kind of arts and crafts projects. Are you still wondering why fractions are so important? Well, they're everywhere. They're all around us, and here are some examples of how they're used in our everyday life, where you might see them, how you might use them, and to keep your eyes open because they're everywhere. Probably the most obvious place that you've seen a fraction is when you've ordered a pizza or made a pizza at home. We always try to cut our pizza into equal parts so everyone gets the same amount of pizza. Here's another interesting way to use fractions in your real life. She's measuring her finger to her wrist, which is about five and a half inches long. You can measure other parts of your body too, like your fingers, your feet, your arms. What does your hand measure? Fractions are everywhere. Do you like to bake or cook? You'll need to know how to read fractions in order to measure correctly. You can use fractions when you're measuring butter or sugar or cake mixes. Using a measuring cup is a tool to help you learn your fractions. Here's another example where you're going to use fractions. This is a clock, and you yeah. might say the clock says 7.15, but you could also say it is a quarter after 7. Yeah. This person lives at an address that is 46 and one half. Does your address have a fraction in it? Fractions can be found everywhere, and that's why it's so important that we know how to use fractions and how to read them, what they mean, and why we have to learn them. Fractions are part of our everyday life, and they are all around us. Just look around. Where can you find a fraction? Bet you haven't thought of this one. Fractions are even at the gas station. When you go to get gas for your car, there are fractions that tell you how much your gas will cost to make sure you have enough money.